Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have something super cool to take a look at today as we have yet another recur model. This is their Basilosaurus, and you can see straight away how beautiful the model is. It's nice to see another Basilosaurus model because there honestly are so few out there. I really can't think of too many companies that have produced one off the top of my head. So it's always nice to have another model of it but also just in general another take of it and being a recur figure you kind of have that nice recur style which i really do love however this one still just in general actually looks really quite nice beautiful long body like you would expect to see on the basilosaurus as well as some beautiful coloration that i feel like looks really nice really natural on the animals so that aspect of the figure is really well done also and then if we turn it around we actually have this little slip here this kind of like a card that comes with it you see these on the tails or legs or whatever of the different recur figures and here on the front you can see a recur logo but once we open this up you can also see if i go to the correct page there we go some information on the Basilosaurus, the product size, as well as the scale. And then as we continue along, you have more information on the Basilosaurus right here, as well as a question and answer area. And then some information in general on Recur. So really cool that Recur always includes these. Definitely fun to have a little information provided with your figure. But again, the figure itself looks really nice. So let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpts, you can straight away see something that is definitely abundant on every recur model that I've seen as far as their aquatic species goes, and that is some really nice texturing to the overall skin here of the body, and it looks really good here on this model, as well as a gorgeous paint application, which I really love. Like, just cannot get over how much I love the tones of color used on this. They just look so natural. You can see the nostrils up here on the top of the snout, but you can also see again the really nice darker blue, but then you have a little bit of a lighter blue there, a little bit of lighter blue here on the tip of the snout, and it all transitions so smoothly, and it's really subtle the way that they've done that. I just absolutely love the paintwork. Over here in the eye area, you can see the eye is painted with a really nice yellow coloration, given a nice black pupil, and then you have a white area that surrounds it, as well as some white stripes that come here along the upper jaw, and then you can see the lower jaw is primarily a nice white coloration as well. You can see the teeth inside the mouth. They're pretty well painted. You know, they're not perfect, but they don't look bad either. You can also see in general, the inside of the mouth does sport a tongue and some really nice detail there on the upper side of the mouth, as well as a beautiful realistic coloration chosen for the inside of the mouth. And of course you can see that I'm bending that because these figures are always with this nice soft squishy feel so you can bend and fold them pretty much any way you would like, which is really handy when it comes to Again, buying them for your kids because it's not something that anybody can get hurt with, being that it's nice and soft, but also just generally uh, being, you know, an adult collector, I often move figures around, end up dropping them, and then I end up nicking the paint and stuff and damaging the figure, but that's not something that will ever happen, I would imagine. With a recur figure, I have never seen it happen yet, and I have quite a few recur models now in my collection, and that is, again, another one of the incredible aspects of the recur line. As you continue to run back here into the body, right as you reach, like, this neck area, you can see, like, some nice creasing and stuff in the skin right there, as well as just generally lots of, like, cracks and crevices in the skin texture. You can see it just looks gorgeous as far as that goes. You see more white striping up here as well as right here. And of course, that really super smooth transition from that nice darker blue to the lighter blue and then the white underbelly, which is incredibly smooth and again, very realistic as far as the coloration of what this animal could have been. Coming down into the flipper, you could see some nice kind of like creasing and stuff here at the base of the flipper, as well as moving out into the flipper itself. You see more beautiful detailing as well as some more of that white that kind of runs along the border here, the outer end of the flipper. It looks really nice and just generally like you could see some irregularities with the end of the flipper right there, just giving it, you know, a very realistic appearance. And of course, the underside has a really nice white coloration. As you continue to move along the body, of course, being a basilosaurus, it's going to be incredibly long. 
but you can see that the entire structure of the animal is very nicely sculpted out and replicated in this figure. You can also see the spinal column running down here along the back, and then you have an area here where we have more of that white that kind of stripes down. Very unique looking paint scheme for this, but it looks great. You also have this little fin up here on the top, which sports some really nice, very realistic detailing there as far as like the skin texture goes and some more gorgeous paintwork. You can even see like some variation of blue in there you can see like a darker blue and right as we get to the end here it transitions to a little bit of a lighter blue and again you can see how that smooth transition runs the entire course of the body you can see those very small fins back here the flippers in the back of the body also look really quite nice and then we lead out the rest of the body here again you can pick up on like some curves and stuff in the structure of the figure as well as that gorgeous skin detail and then if we move this out of the way you can see as we get out here to the tail fin it looks beautiful the detailing aspect again looks fantastic and we have some more of that really nice white coloration that kind of like stripes in and designs in which looks insanely insanely cool really flashy but yet at the same time really natural looking at the opposing side again the head sculpt looks really nice we have some more of that gorgeous detailing as well as the really nice paintwork and again as we continue to run along the course of the body you see like some folding and wrinkling and stuff going on here in the neck region a little bit of like hanging skin here in the lower part of the throat more beautiful texturing to the skin throughout the entire figure. It just looks insanely appealing. Really nice flipper again here in the front. You can see some more really nice texturing to the skin. And again, we have that white that kind of runs along the edge there of the fin, the flipper area. And you can again see how beautiful that transition between the blue and white is. Like I just can't get over how nice and smooth that is. The entire underside as well is insanely highly detailed, which may or may not be too visible here with how bright that white underbelly is. In person you could definitely see how nice the detail looks, but I feel like it might be a little bit too bright here on camera. You can also see that the animal again has a really cool twist in its body as it's swimming along, so it's not like any kind of like a standard, generic, or neutral type of a pose. Reeker does seem to really enjoy giving their marine animals life as far as the positioning of the body and the overall poses go, and I really do like that. I think that's very cool on their part to do something like that, and this is yet another one. Like, I really liked how their Liaplorodon was sculpted as far as like movement shown in the body and this Basilosaurus is just the, pretty much the same as far as really showing off a very cool very dynamic movement and again you can see the rest of the body looks incredible as we move out the length of the tail here out into the tail fin you can also see the underside of the tail fin looks gorgeous and pretty much every ounce of this figure is beautiful so definitely one of my favorites as far as the recur line goes i really love this basilosaurus such a striking but overall really beautiful model of course, as far as a recur figure goes, you usually expect some pretty good size from a recur figure. However, being a Basilosaurus, you've got to expect even more size than normal because of the sheer length of the animal. So you can definitely see there that it's an absolutely impressive sized model. And to further show you that, we're going to go ahead and get a length on our Basilosaurus. It won't be really much in the way of a height, but we could definitely get a pretty solid length here. About 14 inches. Actually, it was pretty much right on the dot right there, or about 35 and a half centimeters. The highest point height-wise really would be like this tail fin. You're not going to get too much going on there, about three and three quarter inches or nine and a half centimeters roughly. But for a size comparison to further show you how big the figure is, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our Recur Basilosaurus. And you can without question see again what I was saying as far as this being a very impressively sized figure. It's really long, not really too much in the way of like body mass or anything, but you don't expect that when it comes to a Basilosaurus. Just a lot of length and it looks incredible. So I am not going to lie to you guys. I'm honestly becoming an even bigger fan of the Recur line than more into the marine species that I get because I feel like their marine animals might be the best that they have to offer like even better than the dinosaurs and I really like the dinosaurs but it wasn't until I got this newest box of recurve figures that I actually realized how beautiful the marine animals truly are and this Basilosaurus is another perfect example of that. This is a gorgeous figure and I'm always really impressed with not only how good Recur is at giving models life as far as like the really cool kind of dramatic poses that they 
include them in at times, but also their paint schemes. Like they always find a way to make the paint scheme really natural, but at the same time have a good bit of flashiness to it without being overly flashy. And I feel like they've done that perfectly with each and every one of the aquatic species that I've looked at so far. This Basilosaurus is gorgeous as far as the sculpting and detailing aspect also. Like the skin texture is just phenomenal throughout the entire figure. Really highly detailed work here on the part of Recur. You can see just so much fine detailing included on something that you would expect to have kind of like smooth skin and you would have a hard time finding ways to include detail on, but they have done a great job on including detail on this model. And I feel like the paintwork on the model shows off just how beautiful the sculpt is. It also has a pretty dramatic kind of like a twist in the body as it's turning and potentially hunting some sort of prey, which I also really quite like. Again, I hate when there's kind of like a stagnant pose. It's not that I hate it. I do enjoy that too, but I'm much more of a fan of having some sort of life displayed in an aquatic species model. And that's exactly what I find here with this Recur Basilosaurus. And I love the tones of color, like that blue that they've used, the lighter and darker shades of blue is just so appealing to the eye. And the way the white plays off of it is even more appealing to the eye. So this incredibly beautiful Basilosaurus is definitely a great figure from Recur and something that I highly recommend anyone interested in picking up. So I will include a link in the description to where you can head on over to the Recur website as well as the Recur Amazon store and purchase yourself this beautiful Basilosaurus. So make sure you check the link in the description, go buy this really cool figure or any other Recur figures that they have on there, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.